Hey everybody, what's up? It's James from Who Shot The Photographer and today I've got a really small tip I'm gonna tell you guys just to help yourselves feel a little bit better um, maybe about your Instagram feed. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because it's um, something I've always done and I, I think that um, basically I've just kind of I'm kind of aware that sometimes people may um, look at people's work especially on Instagram because it is quite a, a big thing Instagram and kind of worry about what their work looks like. Um, it's something I've gone through quite a bit before in my my own kind of journey and stuff like this and I started doing this um, quite a while ago and it made me feel um, a lot better about myself as such. Um, now what I'm going to show you is we're going to just completely randomly um, just to kind of show because basically the long and short of it is if you're kind of worried about your work and you see a really good photography you like, here's a little tip. Literally scroll down all the way to the bottom of their feed and you can see exactly where they started from and see their journey. Um, I think, especially with Instagram, you know, Instagram is such a huge thing today, especially for photographers. You know, we always, we all wanna be on it. We all wanna be on the feature accounts. We all want the 3000 likes and comments. We want all of that stuff. We want to be the influencer. And, you know, it's, it's you know, that's, you know, it is a very vital thing for a photographer to have a really good presence on Instagram. Because for example, a lot of clients have found me before by saying, oh, hey, well, actually, I've heard about, I saw you on Instagram, I've been following you for ages. And obviously, it's such a great way um, to have that kind of clout and obviously to kind of, you know, have people recognize you for your work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just, I, I kind of just want to put this into play just to show because um, it's something which, you know, I used to think, oh, what's my style like? I'm worried about my style. And it's very easy to kind of see, especially the feature accounts, because, you know, it's like when you click on, to, I mean, I'm actually going to, this is my, my, uh, current feed at the moment, but for example, if I click on here, this is a recent wedding I just came back from in the UK. But here, for example, I'm not gonna lie, like I, I want to be fit, I want these photos to be featured, which is why I put all this stuff in here, 30 tags. And in here, for example, it's got, you know, portraits from the world and stuff. Um, and you know, you want, you want to be featured, but it's very easy to kind of see when people do get featured, you think, wow, their work is amazing. Like, why is my work not this good? And you know, this is just a little something to help you. So what we're gonna do is, right, I'm, I'm gonna literally do, I have no, I don't wanna actually choose anyone I've done this to before, <laughs> mainly because, you know, obviously, um, you know, I, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna choose this completely at randomly, okay? So for example, with me, I'm, I want to choose, I'm actually gonna choose, um, let's go for po folk portraits, which I think is a really big feature account. Now this is kind of something I'd love to be featured on because it does have, this is my kind of, almost bohemian style, it's this very kind of filmatic style, you know, um, which is really, really good. So for example, let's go to this photographer here. Um, I love this by the way, this is, this is really cool. So who's the photographer? Alessio Albi. Now, I can tell that this is, and yet again, say for example, you love this guy's work, and I do, and I'm actually giving him a follow because this is really, really amazing stuff. Um, these photos are obviously incredible they're absolutely stunning they're very very mystical I mean, like he's obviously got tons of likes and stuff he knows what he's doing but what we're going to do is we're going to go right back and i hope my internet's going to do us justice it probably won't do but if you kind of this is a really good way as well just to see how people style develop um and you know it's a really good way for you to kind of realize oh actually um you know this person maybe wasn't you know didn't have all the magic in their photos at one point at one stage um, you know, this chap here obviously is really good and he's had a really distinctive style for a while. But you'll see as we start scrolling down, you will start noticing like subtle changes. And it's it kind of reflects from the photographer's natural kind of journey. You know, for example, when you first start out, you're doing kind of very simple shots and then you might, you know, find a preset pack or you might find a specific style of way of doing things, you know. Um, you know, it, it, it does change quite a lot. Um, this guy obviously is incredibly talented, you know, and as you can see, there are kind of minor details in his change, but he's always, he's always gone for this kind of very kind of cross process, slightly desaturated look, um, you know, so maybe I haven't chosen the best example here, but as you can see, kind of, you can still get the impression that things are changing. You know, there are styles here, which are changing, like, you know, that's the impression I get. So what we'll do anyway, this, this is just one example. This is the gist of it. So even if we scroll right back up to the top here, we'll go right to the top and, you know, to be fair, his work is absolutely stunning. But even here, you can see there's such a great level of polish here, maybe compared to his older work. So let's do something um, like weddings. So a really good one is Junebug Weddings because these guys feature 
lots of um, kind of upcoming wedding photographers. And obviously, I love to think that you know I'm I'm into wedding photography now. That's my that's my bread and butter. So here we go. Let's look at. I'm gonna give you a follow as well. Will Curry, awesome name. Um, because here, obviously, Will now Will, and yeah, again, a really good way to look at it is how many posts. Because some people might actually archive their old stuff as well. But if we go down here and if we keep going, we might see that there is a bit of a difference here in his older stuff. And yet again, not everybody's going to do this because some people do kind of, you know, some people do hide their older stuff, you know. Um, but equally, you know, quite a lot of people don't. And here's a good example because this is something I've recently gone through. I used to use, I, I've just stopped using the white borders. And um, I kind of want to make a separate video about this, but it kind of comes down to, you know, this feeling of trying to be different on Instagram. You're like, oh, well, if I use white borders, you know, it's it's going to make me look really different. And, you know, I thought that and I started using it and I was like, why am I trying to jack with Instagram's um, way of doing things? You know, like if you like using white borders, that's awesome. And I know that something like Brandon Wolf uses it and I think that's where kind of, especially a lot of people kind of get the popularity of it from. But for me, I started using it and I was like, I can't post portrait photos. Like what's going on? This is nuts. So here's a good example. This this is actually a really good example. Will, I hope you don't mind I'm actually using your your account as a uh, as an example here, but I just want to show. So for example, um, you know, I saw Will's photos and I said, and rightly so, I said, oh my God, this is, his stuff is insane. How am I, how am I ever going to get this good? Do you know what I mean? Like, how am I ever going to get this good? But, you know, if you actually, and Instagram's good like this, you actually take the time, you can see the evolution of where Will's come from. So for example, here, you know, he's starting off and you know, he's going out there and getting couple shoots, which is great. And you can see another thing as well to be aware of is how long people have been shooting for. Like this was posted, you know, this was posted basically nearly two and a half years ago. So, you know, Will's been working very hard for definitely for way before that. Like this isn't a bad photo at all. You know what I mean? This, this is a really good photo. But yeah, again, Will's been working a very long time. And I feel that people sometimes see these feature accounts and say, why am I getting, why am I not? getting these these looks and stuff. But, you know, if you look at Will's style here, these are beautiful photos, but obviously it's a lot different from what he's doing here. And if we just slowly scroll up, you will start to see the difference. So for example, here, what he's doing is he's obviously getting lots of portraits and stuff of people, um, really interesting subjects. And here we've got a few more wedding stuff coming in here, you know, and it gets to about here. And this is where this classic, this looks like kind of an LXC pro, you know, preset, which is very, very kind of muted tones, which is very popular, you know, and you can start to see he started using it here. And here we go. Like, this is a, this is a beautiful shot, to be honest. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love that. Um, and you can see he transitions to basically doing almost exclusively weddings. And I can relate to this because this is what I'm doing now. My Instagram feed is, I'm planning it to get a lot like this because I'm not, you know, this is where I'm going, apart from my creative one. But as you can start to see, like, he's really getting, you know, he's getting some fantastic work here. The tones are beautiful. And it obviously comes with experience. You know, this is all experience. You know, this photo here is taken, you know, it's just taken this year. So I think a year and a half later and how, how far kind of, you know, Will's moved on. Um, and it's just incredible. It's really, really great stuff. And this is, the, as I say, this is a tip I do like to use. I, I think it's good. It helps you get perspective and I think it helps you kind of stop worrying, thinking like, oh, you know, I don't think my photography is that great. What am I doing wrong? And it's not the fact that you're doing anything wrong. It's just the fact that it, it takes time. You know, I think to get amazing quality photos like this it takes a lot of looking at, a lot of interacting, a lot of community, a lot of shooting, you know, and like, look at that. It's brilliant. He's, he deserves all this love and rightly so, you know. Um, and... Yeah, this is, this is like a really big thing. So that's just my really small tip for you guys. You know, if you are kind of feeling, oh, you know, this other photographer from area is really doing so well. I, you know, I don't know how they've done it. I love their photos. You know, why can't I do that? Go and do this to, to your favorite photographers and you'll probably be really surprised that, you know, there might not be so much magic in the old photos as there are in the current photos. Um, you know, and that, that's like a really, really powerful thing. And yeah, I hope, I hope that helps you guys. Um, if it has, please just go on my um, Instagram, give me a follow and a like, um, anything. I really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm starting to get a lot more wedding stuff here. And also I've got Patreon as well. If you do want to support me doing these kind of videos, um, I'll give you a shout out. And let's say kind of anything you want to know or edit, you can always ask me as well. Um, I've got Twitter, Facebook, and obviously Instagram. Um, so thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you've got any other things you want me to cover, please get in contact and I'll speak to you soon.